The story is actually about a warrior who goes to war and who comes back from war. He comes back to a world that there's no ticker tape parades. There's no, you know, there's no, uh, he feels lost. The violence and the bloodshed and all that comes back to him. Watching his, his brother overseas as well with him uh, killed, he's a witness to that. And those dreams come back to him, they start to haunt him. They come back, you know, he, he thinks it's his fault, he's guilty. And at the same time then his, his ancestors and his parents, his grandparents, see what's happening to him. And so they try to pull him back um, to the corn pollen pathway of life, which is the way of peace and balance and harmony. How to restore yourself back to beauty, back to yourself, back into the community, back into the family. And at the end of the story, then you see how he accomplishes that. I was looking for a work that was a David and Goliath kind of idea. Our stories are important, that our stories are beautiful stories. We have to keep these stories alive. The chance to get involved in a living, tradition where the landscape still contains the meaning in those stories is just something quite magical. All of a sudden, everything's bubbling up, and so it becomes the community, uh, our, our kind of residency community. I hope that uh, people will take away with this piece, coming to the premiere of the work, is that they will be flooded with ideas. That the story that comes out of indigenous homeland, that surrounds Phoenix, you know, that these stories have survived, and I want them to appreciate the story. I think this piece is a way to build a bridge for maybe a way to discuss between two cultures, uh, find a common ground, that you actually can do two things from seemingly different worlds, but essentially it's all the same thing.